Have a Anyway, morning, afternoon, evening, wherever the fluff you are. Yeah, another up the ticks. Wigan taking on Chillingham. Both of them are basically one point. Well, yeah, Wigan are one place behind the top. Chillingham are one place above dead last. This one will be tasty because Chillingham are going to want to scrap to try and uh, grab some points. And obviously, Lassix are going to want to keep this good run going and uh, smash it all the way to the top. Even though, yeah, we've still got four games in hand, but hey, four games in hand is four games in hand. You can have some slip ups, but we don't want slip ups, do we? No, we don't. Anyway, had a quick glance at the team sheet. Langy's not in. Looks like he's having a good old rest because he's played a hell of a lot of games. Shinny's in now, so one of our new boys is uh, taking up. So that's going to be yeah, entertaining. Doing this on the walk in, why not? Rather than being inside, because last time I got belted by copyright because of alt music. Just because I wasn't loud enough, even though my gob's big enough. But apparently I wasn't loud enough. But hey oh, we will see. And I know I said I wasn't really gonna do one of these for a little while, but I found a way of getting a little bit of uh, cash together, especially after a nice little scratchy scratchy win. So, you know, I won on an instant win. Uh, and plus some of my other bets have come in. So the other thing I'm gonna be looking at, I'm not gonna be vlogging it because I'm gonna be sat in my bedroom <laughs> tonight, but I'm gonna be uh, watching a bit of NFL tonight. Tennessee Titans. Taking up Cincinnati Bengals. That'll be a good one. Like a good bit of NFL. One day, one day, I will get there. Anyway. Yeah. I'm back at the usual stand, except I'm not at the top this time. I'm right on the front row. I just went potluck and ended up doing ping. Found a seat at the front row, so, you know. I won't exactly get a great advantage, but then again, I don't care as long as there's noise in there. Anyway, I'm hoping for a win. I'm going to say a two-goaler. Hopefully, Gilligan don't get one. But if they do, because I know they're going to want to scrap for it. Because uh, they're there. They're where they are. We're where we are. Obviously, they're going to want to scrap. But, you know, hopefully we can actually hold out and not concede. Because it would be nice. At least... Well, just to zero them out a bit and keep that from that. Anyway, you'll get yapped at whenever I get a chance to. Probably after a goal or wrap up or whatever, or any uh, tasty or meaty incursions that go on, you will find out. Anyway, for now, peace. 1 0. We haven't even gone 10 minutes and we're already 1 0. What on earth is going on? Keeney! Keeno! I'll just spin you around. Yeah. But it's not a bad turnout from Gillingham either. Not that many of them, but I'm going to say not that bad turnout. I've seen worse. So, that's not bad actually. Oh, we already had a break early on. I might as well keep you guys on while I'm here. We might get another one here. Oh. You never know. You never know with the deflections the where they're going. But hey, we're one up now. So, you know, we could have been one up within the first minute with a quick breakaway and a quick go down as well. Next time I'll have another look at what's going on with the other games, see if we're actually top or what. Probably think so far, we might actually be top right now. We never know. But hey, I'll catch you in, I'll catch you on the flip. Hang on. Oh. Get the shit out of them. You can hear it all, man. Let's see if we're going to show it on the screen, though. Humphreys! That's a good cross. Cheeky little cross.
Just a cheeky little one. So that's two on. Two nearly. Just gone 20, almost 22 minutes. So it looks more like actually my idea of just like, you know, a little mm, couple of goals here, a couple of goals there. Gillingham are looking on the break, but they're not quite there. Alright, yeah, they might be low in the league, but sometimes the lower league opposition can be a bit of a banana skin. But I ain't going to say that they're useless, but so far they haven't pulled anything major out. But then again, we're pressing really hard. We're constantly following on and we're just pressing in on them. Last time I checked as well, Wickham were winning, so we're still second. So no matter how many goals we score here, we're still second, because there's a point in it. But, you know, hey, if we, if, um, I think they're, they're either at Markham or Fleetwood. I think it's Markham. So if Markham can do something there, get one back, that pause up top. When I checked, Bolton were drawing nil-nil. Sunderland against Pompey. It's another one that I'm keeping my eye on. I don't know if I can find it. That was nil-nil. Again, if I find something else, whenever there's the next goal or some taste, you know, then I'll come back to you. Hey, we've still got all the ball so far, and the rain's held off. At a little moment, we had a bit of drazzle, but so far it's held off. Do we? Do this inside again. It's going to be a little bit warmer because it's getting a bit cold out now. <coughs> And all music's going, getting a bit loud, so I will do that in here. Uh, not bad actually, Gillingham could have had something. They were just getting a little bit sharper towards the end of the half there. So they could have, they could have had some at there, you never know. But they didn't quite do it. They could have had a third, they missed an up of goal. It was blazed, just because the keeper was caught unawares. It was blazed and then snagged at the last second. Not bad. Uh, top of the league now, level in one point with Sunderland, who have got one there. Looks like Markham have got one back. When I checked, Bolton, Bolton haven't scored yet, which for some people around here will score. That's Bolton, you know. But just keep it abreast of everything. I looked at some of the Premier League stuff as well. Man United haven't scored. So there's still a bit, uh, a bit with that one. There's always, there's always games going on. Always check it on that. Um, with everything else, not a bad half to be honest. Sat where I was sat there, and uh, yeah, I'm freezing. But that's what you expect at this time of year. Hopefully it'll be it then, but it's not doing too bad. Um, do you think? Because now I'm going to be seeing a bit more of the action because I've been craning my neck to look down the other side of the field. So this time it's going to be all towards me. I do you think we're still probably going to get what? The ability, the fact that we've had almost 70% of the possession at parts in that half. I think we're going to crush it and we're going to be able to get at least another one there. Hopefully, hopefully we don't get caught out of the back and doing and catch one up as well because they were looking a bit sharper towards the end. But you never know how this is going to go. Whether it works, yes or no, don't know. But hey, we've got all we've got four games in hand, so if we could obviously cruise this one out and get away with this one and not get too many injuries, if anything happens, because there's a couple of tears and a couple of moments happening every now and then. So you never know how it's going to go. Gillingham did look like they were pushing on; they could have been a bit more of a threat, just because we weren't exactly all that awake at the back at times. But you never know. Anyway. Second half to come, we will see what happens. Do you want? We got one back, what I feared. What I could see with a little flash that Gillingham did in the, fir in the first half towards the end. It gave him too much space at the back, not been following on, we just got it. So, this is what normally happens when you go to sleep at the back. I don't know who it is because if I find out who it is, it's more bad. I don't see who it was on the screen. But, you know, I just need to hold on and not mess up now. 
not a great start to the first half. Well, the first 10 minutes has been a bit patchy, a bit on and off, let's just say that. We've still got the lead. Also, it's two all. Or was that offside? Let's see. Nope. Scoreboard says. Scoreboard says two. There were the players out for quite a while, though. There were the lads was out for quite a while. We really need to pick this up now. We really need to pick this up. 70 minutes gone. It's just gone from being kind of like, you know, champagne football of a cruise to having to dig it out in the trenches. And it's like, they're the ones that are top chasing for top at league, not us. Not champagne football anymore. We really need to dig this out. Can we do it in the last 20 minutes? We're there playing you down for about four or five minutes as well though. So we will see. From a corner. Still could throw it away. Could still throw it away. Bring that in for a minute. Oh, I'm gonna show it again, I don't know. Don't think they're gonna show it on the screen again, but you never know. There's quite a lot of Julian and Patrick as well. He does a little more like they could have taken it, but he managed to get it back. But the ref, not the ref, the keeper was down for a little while as well. So it's getting a little bit scrappy again. <laughs> yeah, as you can tell, I'm off the bus. Yeah. You never know with these games. This is quite a tasty one. Just need to keep hold of it now and not screw up in the next spot. Probably 15 minutes. They both smack their heads by the looks of this. Ten dies down. One of their lads is down. So this will be a nice little one. This will be a bit of a good one. You never know. Hey, I'll probably see you all at the end of the match. Well, got away with that one, got away with that one, that was a potential banana skin. I want to get across this road, I not to say it. Oh, just scraped that one, <laughs> the end. To be honest, it was getting a little bit tacky and a bit tasty. Because tackles were going in all over the place. It did look more like some of the players really wanted to try to knock each other out. Because there was a few uh, moments, a few little bits where it either could have gone either way, or like free kicks and stuff like that. Gilligan's keeper got caught just a little bit out, handling the ball. So it was a bit of a free kick that went on there, could have done it. Just a moment, managed to slide that one. He saved that one. Keeper injured. Fair keeper. When he went down earlier, looked like he pulled himself when he was sprawled for a save. Where the lads went down for about four or five minutes. It was all of that lot. But hey, we have to say it. But the top of the league takes. Top of the league, equal on points with Sunderland because they got their win 
we've still got game, games in hand, so make it that what anyone wants. Get those goals, get to get, get that done. It makes a difference when you've got players who play all the time and you have got players who come in and out on rotation. But fair play to Gillingham, made a good goal of it. They're now bottom of the league. So that was fun. Just to hear that. Well played to them, they're making a good go of it. To be honest, at some point it actually looked more like you could have grabbed it. It really did look more like at points you could have just grabbed that one and took hold of it and taken it. Like if Yeah, the first half. Almost 70% possession. Just cruising it in champagne football, but second half just slept on it. It seems more like these have fell asleep or something, just gave them that one touch too many. And Gillingham made us pay for it. They got everything on it that they could out of that. Yeah, all right, there was a few moments where I think both sides technically were playing for time a bit and stalling for it, but hey. You get what you're given. In other news, Bolton got a win. I know people in the, people won't like me saying that one, but Bolton got a win. I'm not smiling because of that, I might just smile because it's fucking cold. <laughs> I'm bloody freezing. I know some of you are probably going to go shut up, you go watch rugby. Yeah, I friggin' know. But I have got my big fluffy coat on. It is tea time. It's not night. It's tea time. I'm not. I'm not really that used to cold at tea time. But hey, whatever. Top at league. Top at league. Not having a laugh yet. But top at league. Right. Yeah. Anyway. Time to sign out. Yeah, that was a rarity. I managed to get a ticket. A 3 2 win at home. Gillingham making a good go of it. Right, so that's been me, Boxstar1387, standing out. Peace. <laughs>